My name is Amrita and this is my booktube. So I've had the idea for this channel for about, I don't know, like 10 years or so. But um, I do this thing where I sort of overthink things. So I'll have an idea, then I'll evaluate it or I'll reevaluate it and then I'll just sort of build it up and I'll workshop it and I'll worry about it and pretty soon it becomes insurmountable in my head. Like it's, um, it's almost something monstrous and something that just saps my will to live every time I think about it and so I never end up doing it. My other speed is I don't think about anything, I just jump straight into it and um, I don't want to do that with this channel. I wanted to actually plan things out a little bit but that meant that nothing happened. And then when the lockdown happened with the virus and everything, um, I kind of bit the bullet and one afternoon I just recorded my first video and put it out there and that was that. I think fun is pretty much in the eyes of the beholder, so I can't possibly guess what's fun for you. I've seen people criticize pretty much everything on the internet. So um, I don't know about fun, but I do think that um, your choice of reading material is pretty much the most unique thing about yourself. It is truly uh, a reflection of your personality and about who you are as a person. So in that way, I would say that pretty much everybody that you see on booktube who care enough to actually record themselves talking about books, um, it's pretty unique content because it's really them that you're seeing um, on your screen. So with me, I guess, you know, I'm very multicultural, um, I'm very comfortable in multiple languages, I consume a lot of content and media in different languages, and I think that's what you're going to be seeing a bit of. Um, as well as old classics, you know, there are, these are the books that aren't hyped as much, so it's just curated by my taste. Whether you enjoy it or not, well, that's a whole other story. I think I'm most excited about just talking about books because it's not something that, that I get to do a lot ever since I graduated from college. So just being able to put my thoughts out there and just uh, maybe meet new people, uh, discuss, a few things, you know, uh, that would be fun. Reading for me is a form of escapism. Um, I am 100% not that person that reads improving literature. That sounds a lot like homework to me and I won't do that to myself. I enjoy reading. It actually makes me very relaxed um, and happy. It's a mood changer. So if I'm angry or I'm sad or upset about something, um, Generally, if I just go back and find a book that I love and reread it, then that'll fix my, my mood right there. You know, I've been thinking about this question a lot because I can't really remember a time when I wasn't reading, but I think my earliest memory is um, of my dad. Um, so my dad used to work abroad, so when he'd come back and I was still a toddler, um, he tried to bond with me and he tried to do these fun things with me. He'd take me out for ice cream, uh, to get my hair cut, that, that kind of thing. Just being a good dad. And one of the things that he did was he'd try and read to me. But the things that I wanted him to read to me, uh, so while he'd been away, I'd gotten into his comic book collection. And my dad's older, so he really read old school comics. So I'm talking about Flash Gordon, Manric the Magician, The Phantom, things that today we would look at and be like, well, that's problematic. But back then, you know, it was what you had. I think Mandrake was the very first comic book series to be published, but don't quote me on that. So my earliest memory is of reading the Flash Gordon comics with my dad. And by reading, I mean like my dad read it to me. And what really got me were the visuals. So till today when somebody says uh, a spaceship, um, the word that comes into my mind is a space rocket uh, because that's what I used to call uh, the rocket ship in Flash Gordon. And it was red, like a vibrant red, and it was fun, and it was very pop arty, and um, I loved it. So yeah, Flash Gordon got me reading. So in a weird way, it was the visuals that got me into this whole uh, reading business. 
because my next memory is actually of being around maybe four years old and walking into a bookshop and begging my mom to buy me a book of fairy tales. Um, and I think the cover had uh, the scene from Cinderella where her carriage turns back into a pumpkin. And um, it was this green cover with the pumpkin in a dull orange, I still remember. And inside you had Cinderella at the ball, but this wasn't the Disney version. So um, Cinderella was wearing this, um, this Georgian dress, um, wide skirts, powdered wig, um, just really pretty like a Gainsborough painting, dainty shoes with buckles on them, men in stockings. And I just fell in love and I wanted to know more about this world and I wanted to read it. And so I just started reading. I probably have very boring questions, to be honest, like very technical things. Um, as a newbie, I probably have more questions related to the practicalities rather than the content. Also, like I said, everyone's really unique, so their content is very much tailored to themselves. So it's always a pleasure and a surprise to see what other people are up to. And I don't think I'd want to know what the process is like, because everybody has their own journey. I mean, like I said, I think the biggest challenge for me was to just make that first video and kind of get out of my head and um, just do it. Um, I think what has really taken me aback is that I didn't realize I made these many faces while I was speaking. My friends are really sweet and they're like, oh, you're just a very expressive person, but um, I don't know. If you're asking me about the physical place, then I have to tell you I'm not very precious about it. I'm one of those annoying people that can just lie down on the floor and start reading. And I have. I travel a lot, so a lot of my reading is done on airplanes and um, in lounges and while waiting in queue. Uh, can't be helped. I like the idea of a reading nook, but it's not always possible, especially because my life is so busy usually. If you want to know about my devices or like if I prefer physical books, I think, yeah, of course, everybody prefers a physical book, but it's not always possible for me to buy books the way I used to. Just because as an adult, um, I move countries every couple of years or so, and I have found out the hard way that um, the shipping charges alone will kill you. I buy a lot of books. I'm not one of these people that reads like, um, you know, 50 books a year or something. I read a lot, a lot. So my Kindle is my best friend and I have to tell you guys, you know, ever since the phone started getting bigger and bigger, I sometimes read on my phone. I'm so sorry. I know I'm a monster. But I'm a very happy monster. Again, I'm one of those very annoying people that says, oh, I read everything, but I actually do read everything. I don't think I've met a book that I wouldn't at least try. Well, the only exception to this rule are self-help books. Like I said, I don't read improving literature. I don't read books that are supposed to be good for you, and I don't read books that are supposed to make you a better human being. I think I'm quite improved, thank you very much. Also, I've never had somebody recommend a self-help book to me without first starting the sentence with, well, I'm not really a reader, but, well, I'm a reader. But obviously I do have certain genres that I prefer more than others, and uh, I will automatically head over to those aisles when I'm in a bookstore. So fantasy is big. Um, it's weird because I prefer to watch science fiction on film and on TV shows, but um, I really prefer to read fantasy. Although I do like science fiction as well. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a general preference thing. I love romances. I will read everything. Contemporary, paranormal, historical. I don't care if it has a happy ending. I am all for it. I also read a lot of history and uh, like nonfiction, memoir, political biographies, um, military histories. I just have to be a little bit careful because sometimes with the way the world is today, I get really angry at the things that I read and that's not a pleasant feeling. But you can expect to see a variety of things on my feed. My 
bye for these and other videos please hit the subscribe button